okay what's going on what is going on it's been like years since i made a video i know it's been so long i just want to quickly come by today um, just really quickly and i just wanted to just say something i wanted to kind of explain the reason why i haven't made a video in this in in such a you know long amount of time it's because there were certain things happening which i wasn't very comfortable with and I'm gonna, this is gonna be a short video, but I'm gonna start making more videos again because I feel like it basically. Um, part of the reason why I stopped is just because I wasn't feeling it anymore and it was boring to me. And I couldn't be bothered. Simple as that really, isn't it? I, one of the things that I wanted to say um, as to why I was kind of like turned off of YouTube for example. I just found like the conscious community to be kind of robotic, like conscious robots. And this is not just on YouTube, this is off of YouTube as well, what I feel, in my experience, okay, what my experience has been, is um, I feel like people can be quite robotic. And I basically, you know, when I was way younger, I wasn't comfortable with Christianity and the whole notion of this, this one guy called Jesus and how he saved everybody. I never understood it, I thought it was so stupid. I really did, I didn't understand it. This is from when I was a little kid, this is from when I was way young. And basically... I ran away from the Christian congregation, you know, the church congregation, to the conscious congregation. That's what's happened, basically. And I didn't notice. But then I started to notice, and I thought, oh no, this, I said, no, oh, this ain't for me. This is not for me. And then people tell me how I should speak. And then, oh, do you know what? I think that's going to be a separate video. I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a separate video, conscious the robots don't become a conscious robot maintain your own personality and your identity just because you join the conscious community or you become conscious it doesn't mean that now you have to change your whole identity and who you are oh. and then some people will say well you know when you become conscious you're getting to know who you are well one thing i don't need is people pointing their finger at me and telling me how i should be that's not going to help because who you think you're supposed to be don't put that shit on me that, that I mean just because you think you're supposed to be a certain way that I must also be that way. It doesn't work like that. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Okay, that, that may have to be a whole other video. Alright, another thing I didn't like and that turned me off, of YouTube specifically. And it's not even just YouTube, it's just generally actually, but... Okay, we're talking about YouTube, okay. One thing I didn't like is the whole victim mentality. Now some people will know what I'm talking about, some people, some people may not. But I found that a lot of people are just victims. They're absolute victims. You know, victims... Of not taking responsibility and trying to look outside itself for the solution to the problems okay looking outside itself trying to blame you know this race and and whatever you know what i'm talking about yeah and it's like my thing is is that race ain't that great as far as i'm concerned so i'm not even going to give them too much attention but what i'm trying to say is yeah is that you know start taking responsibility for yourself this is what i realized people are not taking responsibility for their own life and the things they can do yes terrible things are being done to us or whatever but what's that saying people will do to you what you allow them to do to you do you know what i'm saying to you you know and whether that's through ignorance through lack of knowledge you know as to why people allow certain other people to do things to them i don't know do you know what i'm saying to you but what i'm saying is if you are now so-called conscious and you are aware then what are you going to do about it like what are you gonna do about it you know that's just another thing i didn't like is the whole victim mentality i started adopting that shit man i started adopting that victim mentality and feeling weak and shit that shit was making me sick that's that that's evil man i'm telling you that's evil um also becoming angry by association i found myself becoming angry by association i found myself becoming angry by just observing other people's anger and I was just like taking it on board and so I was have, I'd be out on the street having an attitude towards people you know because you know they say like you 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 are no you become what you hang around with you sorry you become what you you know you surround yourself with the kinds of people the kind of music whatever it is just generally the kind of food you eat everything it's the same thing the kind of media that you allow into your life and that you choose to entertain also, the other thing I didn't like is um, the kind of dogmatic attitude. I then started to have a dogmatic attitude and I started, you know, um, expressing this dogmatic attitude to my family members. 
and even also in some of my videos I think I was doing that as well and I realised that now so now I really wouldn't do that because I realised that everybody is how they are according to their life experiences and to what they know you know I mean why are you calling somebody because you know, I used to do this too so I put my hands up I totally recognise what I used to do and I'm talking about myself as well but I'm just saying like why call somebody like a coon and an Uncle Tom and an Aunt Jemima and all this kind of stuff when really they don't know no better and it's one thing I tell you what it's one thing if the person is aware of the history and, and what's going on and stuff like that that's one thing right to me that is somebody who's innocent to be honest with you they don't know any better you know again through lack of you know through lack of knowledge whatever through ignorance you know but they just don't know you know and and it could be through fear so they're, they're scared to learn certain things because they're scared, you know because they're afraid of what, what may happen to them or or whatever but then i guess it's then then it's different if somebody has got a lot of knowledge and understanding then okay maybe they maybe you could call them like an uncle tom or whatever but at the same time people are just people man like everybody has their life experiences they do what they do according to what they know at the time i used to have certain kind of behaviors that may be frowned upon but i didn't know any better at the time when you when you know better you do better and that's all i want to say to be honest with you i'm gonna make some more videos you know i've got other things i want to talk about as well and some books i want to share with you that i think's kind of interesting uh, so yeah that's it really i know it's really dark don't worry you'll see me you'll see me in a much better light next time in more ways than one but um yeah, that's what I want to say for now. So that's it.